But of course, you don't want to buy a whole bunch of silver willy-nilly. But once I started, um, I just really could not stop. This video is just for entertainment. I am now a 10% shareholder. It's fun. That's what it is. Hello friends, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Bullion. Well, I've been busy and my stack of Libertads has been growing. This is the 2022 NGC Early Releases MS70 Libertad. This represents a perfect coin. MS70 is the highest grade. Well, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell, smash the like button, and while you're at it, please consider sharing this video with one of your friends. Well, my Libertad experience started with collecting raw coins, and I was able to amass a collection of coins from 1982 all the way to 2002. And I'll post a video of that up here in the description. But then I also started to amass gold libertads and I found myself gravitating toward MS-70 gold libertads, uh, both proof versions of the coins and reverse proof versions of the coins. And that was great. And then somehow I rather impulsively started collecting these NGC early releases MS-70 libertads from the year 2022. Now, early releases essentially means that these coins were struck within the first several weeks of the production. And so they represent the best strikes, if you will, the best detail within the coin. And of course, these coins came back as a grade of 70. And as of the recording of this video, there are only 1,111 of these early releases MS-70 coins. And so when I discovered all of that, I just started to rather impulsively stack these coins. Now, let me just pause right here for a second and say that I am probably crazy. Okay, um, at least when it comes to collecting a ton of these 2022 early releases MS-70 Libertads. Um, this video is just for entertainment. It's to entertain you, it's to provoke you, and it's per to perhaps inspire you. That's the goal of this video. But in all respects, you should not do what I do or anybody else does. This is entertainment. You should do your own research. And my ideas may not make sense for your own personal or financial situation. And some of the things I do are pretty downright crazy, such as stacking a ton of these 2022 early releases MS-70 Libertas. So do your own research. That being said, I've started to collect these and uh, once I started, um, I just really could not stop. I think that's one thing that all lovers of Libertads have is once you start, you can't stop. And the one glaring question is, is does it make sense to stack these MSG, MGC MS70 Libertads? Well, the quick answer would be no. But the more nuanced answer is, well, it depends. And it depends on what? Well, quite frankly, it depends on your motivations and it also depends on your time frame. And well, what does that mean? Well, you know, there's a difference between stacking silver and collecting silver. And I made a video about stacking silver. I'll post to it in the link kind of right here. And when you're stacking silver, you're really looking at weight. You want to get as much weight as you can for as close to the spot price of silver. And that's the focus. And so if you're stacking, you're stacking. 
and that's much different than collecting. With stacking silver, you wanna build weight in silver at a very low cost basis above the spot price of silver. Collecting, rather, is building a set of a particular coin or coins that has some sort of special value to you as a collector. Now, that value could be as simple as, well, I just like them, or I feel exhilarated when I have this coin in my possession, or I feel a sense of accomplishment by building a set of a particular coin or amassing a certain number of that particular coin. And I think all of these things go into why I started to stack or collect these silver Libertads. Again, MSG 70s, early releases. So what's my goal? Well, you know, I can tell you, I don't know what my goal is. My goal is to be happy. And these perfect Libertads, well, they make me happy. Proclaimed by the Numismatic Guarantee Company as an early release MS-70, the perfection of these coins is beyond contestation. And that gives me a sense of pride to hold it. So I'm content to just stack these Libertads. I enjoy looking at these coins. I enjoy holding them. I enjoy sharing them with my friends and family. And I enjoy purchasing them, let's just be honest, okay? I could go out and buy, I don't know, let's just say a, ooh, I don't know, a carafe of silver oak. Or I can buy one of these. I choose to buy one of these. I could go and say, ooh, what? Spend some foolish amount of money somewhere. But instead, I decide to buy one of these coins. And so it makes me happy. And of course, there is synergy in numbers. What I quickly realized is that as I continued to collect these coins, I was collecting more and more of them in the same genre meaning all of these are early releases, they're MS-70s, and they're the year 2022. And the more of these you collect in the same year is the more powerful your collection becomes. But of course, you don't wanna buy a whole bunch of silver willy-nilly. As I've always stated, you need to be very disciplined in your approach. You need to understand what your cost basis is going into any sort of new collection of silver. And I understood what my cost basis was as I started to accumulate all of these Libertads. And I wanted to make sure that I kept my cost basis below a certain fiat value. Now that's important because at the end of the day, I either wanna be able to pass this down to my children and have my kids understand that there's value here, or maybe I might want to turn around and sell it in 20 or 30 years, and I need to be able to realize some sort of a profit or at least a break even on all of this silver. And so it's important to understand what your cost basis is, and as you go about collecting all of these Libertads, you certainly don't want to go above your cost basis. Now, I'm not gonna share my cost basis here, but I can look at the closed transaction tabs on eBay and tell you that these coins are already selling for much more than my cost basis. But in reality though, it really doesn't matter because as I mentioned, I'm not gonna sell these for a very, very long time. I'm gonna enjoy these coins and who knows? I may give them the weekly bullying the third I may give them the weekly bullying the fourth. I may give them to my wife. Or I may give them the weekly bullying the second. Who knows? But that's the beauty in all of this. And the other thing I should point out as well is as crazy as this is, it should not get you off of your regular stacking strategy. And what do I mean by that? I mean that your regular stacking strategy should include 
stacking the weight, stacking a good mix of different genres of coins, stacking some gold, stacking some silver, and also stacking different sizes. This here is just a little bit of fun. It's fun, that's what it is. And it pleases me, and it makes me happy. To tell you the truth, sometimes I come home after a long day's work, and I call a grand assembly of all of my Libertads, and I line them up on the table, and I inspect them, and I'm pleased to have them in my presence. And they serve as just some sort of a, a balm and a salve to wash away any frustrations I have during the day. And that's why I like these coins. They're beautiful to look at. I love having them in my presence. And they satisfy me to a great degree. Now, of course, my wife, my kids, they do the same thing. They satisfy me to an even greater degree, but you get my point. Having a little bit of silver that satisfies you is never a bad thing. So these will go away for a very long time. And who knows, they might go away for 10 years, 20 years, or maybe 50 years, and then they'll reappear. And only then will we know their true value. I'm not concerned with the value of these today. Okay, I'm not concerned about in a year, can I get the same amount that I paid? That's not why I'm going into this. I'm going into this to see what's the value gonna be 20 years from now, maybe 50 years from now, maybe I'll never know. We'll see. Let's see how many I have here. The crazy thing is with NGC currently listing a number of 1,111 early releases MS70 2022 Libertads, I am now a 10% shareholder in that cohort. So when you arrive at those numbers, are you really collecting or are you stacking? And does it matter? Please leave me a comment below. If you enjoy all of these Libertads, also please let me know in the comments. Do you collect Libertads like this? What is your favorite coin of collection? Is it Morgan's? Uh, is it Libertads? Is it American Silver Eagles? Please let me know. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. Until next time, stay blessed and keep stacking.